Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the theatrical film High School Musical 3, senior year. This came out October 24th, 2008. I was 18 years old. This is the full, uh, right after I graduated high school. I graduated high school June 2008. Uh, did a bunch of acting stuff summer 2008. Uh, I was starting to do some fall stuff 2008. Paid to act, but not as much um, at that given time. So I didn't go to school after high school because I was starting to get paid to act while I was in high school, so I didn't feel the need to. Um, didn't pick up, obviously, as fast as I had hoped, uh, despite everything I was told. So continuing on, August, I I'm sorry, October 24th, 2008, is the same day that Saw 5 came out in theaters. So I remember I went to see the midnight release because that's they did midnight releases back then i'm old uh <laughs> you didn't go to the movie theater at 7 a.m the thursday night before a uh, 7 p.m the thursday night before you went at 12 p.m noon uh, i'm sorry 12 12 12 midnight there we go uh double o double o hundred hours midnight the night before that way you could see the actual release midnight screening when midnight screenings were a thing so we went to the midnight screening of saw five and I had other school friends, other high school friends there who saw us in the parking lot. And they're like, oh, you're going to see High School Musical, right? And I was like, no, actually, I'm going to see so. And they're like, wait, what? Like, they were genuinely confused as to me not seeing the midnight release of High School Musical because I saw the midnight release of Saw 5 with a group of friends at the time. It was hysterical. I was known as a high school musical kid. I, I did a bunch of shows in high school, outside of high school, high school musical. It, I had the time of my life. It was absolutely fun. And so it was funny that I hadn't seen these kids in months, obviously since graduation, and they assumed I was going to see the movie, but I wasn't. I think I saw it the next day. So, High School Musical 3 is the theatrical sequel finale film uh, to Disney Channel original film, High School Musical, which came out in 06, and then High School Musical 2, which came out in 07. So, October 2008 uh, was a glorious month for film. And so, to have Saw 5 and High School Musical 3 coming out at the same time, it's a nice little marker in my brain of pop culture. So High School Musical 3, senior year, right? It's about the Wildcats, their senior year of high school. I just finished my senior year of high school. It hits me very close to home, very close to home. This is this is a true millennial film. And so they're trying to figure out their future. You know, is Troy going to go to U, U of A, University of Albuquerque with Chad to play basketball? Is uh, Gabriella going to go to uh, Stanford's early college admission program? Um, Taylor McKessie is going to Yale, um, but it's a matter of is Sharpay and Ryan Evans going to get a Juilliard scholarship to go to Manhattan to perform? Um, what's happening with Kelsey? What's happening with Zeke? What's happening with Martha? All these different characters, right? What's happening with Jason? So there's freshmen and new, new blood. So our Wildcats are now seniors. So there's new blood in the mix as well. That's how high school works, right? You have friends who are older than you. You have friends who are younger than you. You're supposed to have friends who are older than you and supposed to have friends who are younger than you. You can't just have friends that are people your age. It's mundane. You need different perspective, older, younger. So to have the new freshman Wildcats thrown into the mix, smart. Gives us hope of a High School Musical 4, which never actually happened. Uh, we got Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure, which we're going to watch and we're going to discuss, but that's not High School Musical 4. And then we got the TV series, High School Musical, the musical of the series, which is not technically the same universe as High School Musical, but we've talked about how awesome that show is in general. Things, right? So High School Musical 3, the Wildcats are trying to figure out their place. They're trying to remember the good times. They're trying to think of the future. What's the future? Incredible, incredible, incredible moments without, without this, throughout this entire film. The whole prom sequence is just great. Um, they're putting on a show of themselves. Miss Darbus, the all-star of the entire film, as far as I'm concerned, Miss Darbus. She says that playing a character is easy, but playing yourself is a challenge. And the Wildcats have to play themselves on stage for this musical that they're performing, which Kelsey's writing, which Ryan's choreographing. So, so cool. So, Troy is conflicted. Should he keep up trying to go for this Juilliard scholarship? Should he just agree and go to U of A? as his dad wants, you know, what does Troy want, right? Gabriella does accept the early early admission uh, program for Stanford, leaves, uh, doesn't even graduate high school in time, leaves, um, but then Troy has his prom in Stanford with Gabriella, wherever Gabriella is, that's where his prom is. She then comes back, helps them finish the musical, they all graduate, they sing a beautiful high school musical song at the end. Um, it, it, 
I get choked up watching this movie all the time just because of the nostalgic aspect of it, of me being that age at that time, graduating high school in 2008. It hits very close to home. I did a lot of aspect of musical theater when I was at that age, um, that early stage of, of my life, about half half my life ago. It's uh, it's pretty neat seeing it. It's neat reliving it. I have not seen this movie in so so long. Um, I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw it. I, I needed to I needed this refresher of nostalgia. Nostalgia is good. Nostalgia can be dangerous because you can feel trapped in the past, as in you want to just stay in the past. But you have to learn to adapt. You have to learn to change. There's there's no progress without change. So you can't move forward unless you learn to change. So I think it's important to remember where you've been. That's what I'm referencing in regards to the nostalgia aspect. But don't stay focused on the nostalgia aspect because the past is not going to come back. The future will come eventually, but the past is not going to come back. So uh, things might change along the way. Things might look like the past is coming back, but the past will never truly be back because there's always going to be tomorrow. I didn't attempt to get philosophical on this, but that's the beauty of High School Musical. You never know where your mind's going to go. You're, you're stuck in a musical mindset. You're, you're throwing basketballs around. You're screaming in a hallway. You're screaming in a, in a theater. Miss Darbus and Troy having that gorgeous conversation together is just wonderful. Oh, another thing I, I, I loved in this movie is the relationship that uh, Troy and Chad have. We explore more of their childhood. We explore more of their bromance. Um, the two of them just laying on his bed talking about life was so cool. It's it's not a thing that you normally see, just two guys just on a bed together just talking. It was very neat. It was very important to see because you don't have to have two bros in a room on opposite sides of a room, you know, not inches apart from each other on the same bed. It's 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 just comfortability. People people are comfortable with each other. And and when you're comfortable with someone, you could just be yourself with someone. So for Chad and Troy to have a conversation, whether Troy wants to stay with basketball, whether he wants to do theater, what he wants to do with Gabriella, like it was a beautiful moment that the two of them have, which does which gets overlooked all the time. Another thing I want to talk about, I had in 2008, I had um there was a four two pack set from uh, Mattel that uh, Mattel made a bunch of High School Musical toys, a bunch of musical dolls, figures, and we talked about this in the last review. The marketing, the, the merchandise for High School Musical was massive, 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 massive. And I had uh, the Zeke and Sharpay two-pack, the Troy and Gabriella two-pack, the Chad and, and uh, Taylor two-pack, and the Ryan and Kelsey two-pack, all of them in their prom outfits. And I sold them as I got older because I needed money to pay bills, obviously. And now that I'm old, and reliving nostalgia aspects, I want to get these 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 figures again, new in box, and they're so hard to find. Oh my god! But um, nostalgia, right? So, like I said before, it's good to remember nostalgia. It's good to keep keepsakes of nostalgia as memories, trophies, tokens, talismans. Um, but to realize there is always a tomorrow. You know, future will come. Uh, let's go to Tomorrowland. Now I want to go to Disney. My brother's going to Disney next week. I'm so so jealous. On to the next Disney trip. On to the next review. Which of